In practice at exercise 4.8, smallest largest, we need to write a method named smallest largest. So we're going to have a public. We can make it static. We're going to have it be a void. And then we're going to call it smallest largest. We have parameters in here. We're going to ask the user to enter numbers and then print the smallest and largest of the numbers typed by the user. We are going to assume that the user enters a valid number greater than zero for the numbers to be read. And we have an example right here. So basically we just need to recreate our example here. So when we look at this, we are going to first give this user a prompt. So we can do a system dot out dot print line. We'll just do print since we want the user input to be on the same line. And we're going to have this like this, and then we can end this line. Now, since we want to take user input, we're going to use a scanner. We're going to make a scanner. We will call it input. It's going to be a new scanner. And then in these parentheses, we're going to have system dot in because we are taking system input or user input. And then the next thing that's going to happen is we need to store the input dot next int inside of something. So we're going to do int answer is equal to input dot next uppercase I N T. And then we can end this line. So now the user answer is stored inside of here. We want to run this this many times. So we're going to do it in a for loop. We'll have four. We're going to have int a. I usually set this equal to zero. But what I'm going to do is incorporate this with the one, two, three, four. That's incrementing every single time. So we're going to do int a is equal to one. And then instead of just being a is less than our uh, answer, we're going to do less than or equal to the answer. And this and do a plus plus. So we can eventually break out of this. Now we're going to be inside of the for loop. So we're going to have a system dot out dot print. And then inside of here, we are going to have number. Uh, we'll have a space. And then we're going to add to this uh, whatever a is. And then we are going to add the semicolon or just colon right there. And then we need a space also. So we need to have a colon this space inside of here. After this, we're going to take user input. So the user is now going to input a number. We are going to store this inside of something. We'll do, um, we'll call this number. We're going to do int number is equal to the input dot next int. So this is going to grab it in here. Now we need to compare it to our smallest and largest values. And so we should declare some stuff up here for smallest and largest. They're going to be integers. So we will do int smallest, and we are going to set this to the highest value we possibly can. So we will always be able to change it down. We are going to set it equal to integer max underscore value. And then we'll do a comma and we will do largest is equal to integer. This should be a lowercase dot. And then this is all uppercase min underscore value. And it's a little bit backwards, but the reason why we're doing it like this is so that the largest holds the smallest value. So it will definitely change. And same thing for the smallest, it holds the highest value so that it can definitely change. And then we're going to compare this input to our smallest and largest. And if it's, if we'll do an if statement. So if our number is less than our smallest, that means that it is going to be the new smallest. So we're going to go inside of here and we're going to set smallest equal to the number. And then we can end this line. Now we should also check if this is going to be the largest thing, because if the user only passes in one thing, it's going to be both the smallest and the largest. So we are going to have an if statement, not like an else or an else if statement. And we will do if because we want to check both things one after the other. If our number, we'll just say if our largest is smaller than our number, we're going to be inside of here. We're going to set largest equal to our number. And then we can close this if statement. And then we can close this for loop because it will be done. And now we just need to sys out all of this down here. So we will do a system dot out dot print line. And then inside of here, we are going to do a string, which is smallest equals, and then we can end this part. And then we want our smallest number. So we're going to append to this, the smallest, we're going to end this line and we're going to do system dot out dot print line. And then we're basically going to have the same thing, except the only thing that's going to change is that this is going to be largest and this should be largest parenthesis, and then we'll end this line. And then we can end our entire method. And that should be it for all of the code. We can click submit. 
uh, just do a quick look over. And the reason why we made a mistake is not because of this parenthesis or anything, it's because uh, I didn't have a plus between these two, so it's not appending them correctly. So if we're just to click submit and add that in there, look over our code, we do not pass the test. And we can see why, it's asking us how many numbers, oh, we don't have a space here. So we go back up to the code, we should have a space here. Now looking over it, it should submit properly. And we've passed three out of three tests. So this is the code and how we would go about solving for this practice it problem.